YouTubers, Abdur7 here from androtechblackspot.com. Right now with Galaxy Note 4 at and I'm doing a review of an official AOKP running Jellybean on a Galaxy Note. This will work for any Rogers, Bell, Telus, or any US or Canadian Galaxy Note as long as it's LTE. So here we go hit start button once this is the screen you'll be at once you're done flashing the ROM and your phone boots up for me it will take time because I don't have data as you can see on top right there with the battery I don't have data so it will take time and give me options to sign in in Wi-Fi So features of AOKP in, includes tons and tons of customization for your phone starting from your launcher to lock screen to your status bar themes uh, performance boot up or shut down and all those stuff you can customize the way you want so you for boot up you some people might be confused so you can have some some performance performing script and stuff to go on when your phone boots up and here I'm going to press skip and as I told you I will have to log into my internet and let me just log in and there you go it's gonna log in right now if you sign in right here you can go ahead it will go ahead and start installing all the applications I'm not gonna do that right now this is just your regular startup how it used to be on uh, ICS now we are finished here you're presented with two launcher options it's NOAA launcher and regular launcher so let's go ahead and try you see there's a reflection of that and we're going to try that just once and here you go this is a regular ICS launcher press OK and there is your app drawer choose some application and here you go this is the application it will come with browser calculate your calendar as your regular application and if you flash gaps then you will have all the Google Apps too and these are the widgets it comes with and let's go ahead and go to back home and we are going to select NOAA I'm gonna put in always they both look same but NOAA has so much different settings and as you can see the card effect and here when you press setting you can go to NOAA setting and customize the launcher the way you want you can have as many desktop grid with grid here I go all the way to 7 row 7 because I don't put anything on desktop so that's why I want to have back desktop and here we got width margin height margin persistent pres search bar you can have it the way you want that's but I like the clean version of the Google search bar home screen quantity and arrangement of home screen so if you want that to be home screen you can have that it too we're going to go back again if you are into the desktop then scroll effect you can select different scroll effect car stack wallpaper scrolling of course it's gonna be on infinite scrolling continuous scrolling through your screen so once you go go it will go spin round 
resize all the widgets that's a must and lock the extra prevent changes nope I don't want to do that press back button and here you have the gesture if you purchase that you you got gesture buttons a uh, drawer here's the app drawer setting you can customize all this stuff the way you want take your time we are going to go ahead and setting I had Google now as you can see Google now as you can see Google no and we're going to setting about phone and here you go Android 4.1.1 you see LF6 that's my radio and thank you the great and the whole AOKP team for building this here let me show you this too oops there is smiling for you go back and go all the way up Here's your ROM control, the features of AOKP. And you got general UI, lock screen, power, menu, navigation bar, battery, clock, toggle signals, LED, sound, weather, very vibration and performance. So we're going to go to general UI right here. Here you can have custom boot animation or disable boot animation custom career label I will select that and we will write app d r o i d s e i d ok sort app drawer and there you go it appears right there app drawer as you can see then you can have notification background alpha so notification count how many notification you got it will show the count enable kill all button grant and hold back to kill of course so I am yeah, I allow 180 degree rotation that will be when you go on that way it will have that force tablet here you don't want to do that but you you can if you want enable dual panel view so tablet the way that tablet has the application that's dual panel and you can go ahead and go to lock screen again here you can have quick ping lock menu lock so you can press menu key to unlock wait to lock screen choose lock screen wallpaper lock screen battery percent you can have that to display battery percent music Exactly, or you can have volume wake or log press volume to skip. You can have lock screen targets. This is really cool features because the targets you can select if you want something else right here or right here or right there. So let's have you get your what if you don't want the SMS on that and if you want some of your favorite game you can change that in the under lock screen target the target amount how many do you want for so you can select more than that if it's working you can have possibly if it's not then you won't get the chance to have it so weather information it will show you the weather and calendar events you can have that enable too look or lock screen rotation if you want to have power menu if you want to have like power menu right now it's that much but if you want to have that as you can see it can take screenshot now because you just give it the feature the navigation bar this is mainly for the Galaxy Nexus and all the device that does not have the soft, soft buttons right here and I don't recommend having that unless you really like it then battery here you can go icons and I always like this so it tells you the battery percent right there let me show you let me see if I can focus correctly
but I can't, so I'm not gonna bother that much. But yes, in, in that center, because it's so small that you cannot see it. The battery bar, you can have battery bar, you can have battery bar style, change animation, color for battery bar, and then you can go to clock to customize your clock, as I was saying on how to video. You can have clock style, center clock looks kind of good if you want to have AM PM on it, day of the week. Then you can have toggles, this is main because the toggles right now looks like this and you can have a look like that this is the status I'm gonna select unselect it go back to setting again and here you can have your toggle style which icon or text if you know all the icons you can have icon only Enable color indicator, disable indicator color, brightness location on the top, on the bottom, down so. And you can select the toggle order, swipe the button on the second, as you can see, on the top right, that's your swipe button. So you can have that, and that's your toggle background, customize that brightness location and all this customization just for your AOKP now we are just halfway right now signal you can have it to get different style of signal text as you can see mine just went away and had a text Wi-Fi oops you can get Wi-Fi signal text or 100% Wi-Fi right now because my router is down there in the corner then you can select the different color Wi-Fi signal color I'm gonna select set so as you can do color changing of Wi-Fi signal from here and your current data signal from here just select whichever color you like, tap on the color right here and it will change as you can see 95 got changed and then we are going to go ahead and go to LED and I never seen LED work on the Galaxy Note of mine but give it a try if it works for you great then we are going to go to sound enable volume panel then last frequent notification sound headphone plugged in action what do you want to do when you plug in headphones so you can put in vibrate mode or silent mode so as I said before this is the ultimate customization of your phone Bluetooth F A to DP connection so if you connect to Bluetooth what do you want, me, want what do you want the phone to do these are the action you can put then weather here you can enable weather use custom location you can set the location if you want one location if you want to clip up on your ex-girlfriend or something how so her weather looks like show location metric units start custom applications when clicking on the icon so when you click on weather icon you can have it start power menu I don't know or if you can have weather channel you can have that to start then we are going to go to vibration this is for if you know about vibration go ahead and try that I don't know it so I'm not gonna do it and here you can overclock it as you can see 1728 that's what I overclocked it to and on demand I'm gonna change that to smart as v2 that is one of the goner that is recommended and i have seen people use the most as being youtube reviewer slash developer here you can have water setting but your kernel does not support it other settings so when you're 
it, we will kill the task ATMB amount of the free RAM which will be set on boot so that's what I was talking about in how to videos to set up on boot setting fast change daily boot no schedule you can have a daily at uh, let's say 4 a.m. it will reboot done if you want that I don't want to have daily reboot so I'm not going to have that so this was just the ROM control now we gotta go to themes here you can download different themes let's go ahead and go you can sign in right here in Play Store sign in and search for AOKP themes and you can download that and use it on your phone and device option here you can have screen options scenario mode outdoor mode and sensors I don't use any of those but if you want to do more on you can have that up here in indoor right now so not gonna need it and as you can see the Google now is working Lakers as you can see it searched up for Lakers Dwight Howard's practice hopefully they beat hit this time as I live in Chicago and I'm a fan of Lakers most of the Chicago people hate sports hate and this is it full review of your AOKP on your Galaxy Note and as always go ahead and hit like button right there subscribe button up there and I'll see you in my next video thank you for watching guys